free at the point of delivery. It's a founding principle of our health service, but that means it simply isn't geared up to collect money from the overseas visitors who should pay. Today, a report from MPs branded the system chaotic. Many people agree. They shouldn't be stamped on to say they've got to pay. Like, obviously, we do when we go abroad. We've got to get the holiday insurance out. So why shouldn't they? If you're meant to pay for it, you should have to pay for it. It's just if that's the law, it should be chased up. The administrative and organisation who is around that needs to do some more, of course. Last year, NHS hospitals in England recovered £125 million from overseas patients for treating them. But it's estimated they're missing out on another £175 million they could collect on top of that. And as hospital trusts ended last year £2.5 billion in the red, MPs say every bit of extra income should be chased up. A lot of them want to pay. They have health insurance or they have European health insurance. So the question is well, what systems can be in place to make sure that those who can pay should pay without it being so difficult that it's actually making it difficult for British citizens who are entitled to free health care at the point of delivery. It's the complexity of the current system that's the problem. For example, an overseas visitor can go to A&E for free, move them onto a ward and there is a bill to pay unless they've got an infectious disease like TB, in which case there's no charge. Hardest of all, there is no single, simple document like there is for crossing borders that determines if someone is eligible for free NHS care. Doctors say they haven't the time or the skills to be border guards. Of course we want to get the money retained in the NHS, but we would have to spend an awful lot in new infrastructure and training to change the way that we speak to people when they walk through the door of our services. The government will soon announce new plans to recover more money from foreign visitors. But there is no easy way of redesigning a system that is founded on opening its doors to all without question. Catherine Jones, 5 News.